Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Mika missile on the Mirage 2000. Now this missile also goes on the Rafal, so perhaps we'll see a Rafal in the future. I'm saying it right now, we're going to see it. We're going to see a Rafal, we're going to see an F-22. Yeah, just give it time. Anyway, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord to enter in our giveaway. That's how you enter in. Um, links in the description for that. But uh, you can see here the Mika missile, it tracks targets pretty well. Um, it does help if you keep your radar on the target, but again, you don't have to do that. Um, you, that for example, in this shot here, I launch on him, I'm not even tracking him, the missile just tracks him no problem. There's pretty much nothing he can do. Um, the best tactic to dodge these Fox 3 missiles, though, is to fly as low as possible to the ground, and the missile typically misses. You can notch them, you can outrun them at certain ranges, but, um, yeah, the, these missiles are pretty darn good. You can see how hard it pulled um, on that target above us. It had no problem getting up there. And this is, that's because this is a thrust vector in the missile. And it also pulls 50 Gs. Now, I don't know if Gaijin actually modeled the thrust vector yet. Um, maybe because the missile reaches Mach 3 so quickly, it just compresses. So it doesn't, you know, pull like an R-73. Um... I'm not actually sure how the uh, Mika missile in real life, like how hard the thing can actually pull. So tell me in the comments down below whether you guys think it's accurate in the game. But it does have thrust vectoring um, in real life, so perhaps we'll see how it uh, changes in the future. Anyway, let's go check out TAC view of a different scenario. So in this you can see we are tracking an F-16 at 17 miles. He is closing and it's a pretty much perfect firing solution, so I get him locked up. I get my Mika missile ready and I launch it. And the missile is climbing so it will bleed a lot of speed, but it does get to Mach 3 in the climb. And soon after it just starts to bleed speed very drastically. But even though it's going Mach 1.6, which is, you know, relatively still fast for a missile quite slow, the missile still connects. And the F-16 didn't do much evading so both missiles hit. Um, I mean it's a textbook, even an AIM-7 would have did that. For this part, I'm trying to fly low and mask the ground, and there's a target in F-16. He starts to gain some altitude, I lock and launch. Now the Mika missile, in my opinion, is the best at close range, it's the best radar missile or um, Fox 3 missile in the test that's uh, really good at close range because it is thrust vectoring. I don't think it's fully modeled though. Um, but it pulls about like 50 G's, so the missile is really good at close range. So if you use these like um, the R27 ET and you launch on a target, it's, it's pretty much going to kill unless the target goes near the ground. The only reason I say the R27 ET is because that is a fire and forget missile and it has pretty long range. Um, and the, what is it, the Mika missile is also fire and forget. Small note though. I wonder if Gaijin is going to add the infrared version of it. That would be super sick, but we'll see what they do. Now this shot, we're relatively low. I launch a Mika missile on this Mirage 2000, and the missile pulls pretty hard. It got up to around 40 Gs, but it does not hit because he gets low to the ground. Now this couldn't be a tactics video with um, how to counter the missile, and so far what I've noticed is if you're in a semi-notch and you're constantly trying to bleed the missile by changing the vector, Typically, if you're lucky, while dumping chaff, the missile will miss. I mean, look how close that is. That technically could have proxied. Um, but, you know, with these radar missiles, you want to keep changing your vector. AKA, you want to keep rolling while pulling on the stick, um, you know, going upwards, I guess. So you're constantly, you know, doing like a loop, so the missile's constantly trying to, you know, calculate where you're going to be. And when you do that while well, dumping chaff, it gets a little confused, and sometimes you get really lucky. And that is a Mika missile on the Gripen. It's going Mach 2.5. So, I mean, there's ways to dodge it. It's not completely impossible. I'm not even in a full notch, but um, yeah, that's just one example of how to dodge the missile. Now, that isn't the only Mika missile I dodged in this game. Another Mirage tries to kill me. You could see he launches a Mika missile. It's getting to Mach 3 quite fast. I see it, so what I do is I dive. And what that does is it makes the missile think you're going to be a little lower because it's trying to predict where you're going to be. So the missile thinks you're technically in the ground and that's why it sort of slams into the ground early. That's not even like, um, what you might call it, uh, 
it's different from just being low and the missile not hitting you. Like, that missile thought I was underground, so it's trying to lead into that. Um, and that's why you constantly want to be changing the vector. And you can see he launches another one, and this one just misses because I'm low. I launch a missile, that one misses, but I get a lock. The Mirage is a little high, so I launch, our darter's tracking, and splash. That is pretty much like a textbook um, engagement against the Mika missile and how to negate it. And it generally works against all the Fox 3 missiles. Um, but the Mika missile, since it does pull 50 Gs, you constantly want to change its vector so it bleeds as much speed as possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think about this missile in the comments down below. I hope you're having a great day. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.